Thank you, young mortal. You've saved my life. I would like to show you my gratitude, but I cannot. What do you mean? You have triumphed over a thousand foes, yet there is one place, deep within you, that remains beyond reach. A secret, one you cannot avoid forever. Only you can unlock it. Thank you again, Sargon. The forest and the Soma tree are safe. Now I can return to my peaceful life beneath its branches. You've grown a pair to kill the prince. Maybe four to face Varum. Varum lied to you. Then how come you have men Elias' bow? Aura, don't be an idiot. Put your weapons down. Oh yeah? I bet that worked on men Elias. For once, just listen to me. You're fighting on the wrong side. You can talk your way out with Nate and Artaban, but it won't work on me. Meet me out at sea. We'll settle this in a more bracing atmosphere. I hope you like danger, Sargon. The god trapped here is more than evil. Doesn't matter. If this creature... Ejdahar. If Ejdahar holds the secret for a second chance to save Hassan, then I'm going in. No mortal has ever entered. Proceed only if you're really certain, Sargon. to save a prince. Are you now? Let me show you. Hunt after the four celestial guardians. Compel them to spare one moment in all of time and space. Choose wisely, little one. Sadwes is the closest, the Guardian of the South. I saw Sadwes. Three more many spells of blood. Right. Ejdahar showed me a way to save Hassan. Her evil deeds know no bounds, and one of them is unforgivable. A story I don't even want to remember. Huh. Between the two of us, I thought you were the fool. But I was wrong. Both can be true. You've helped me a great deal. What's your name? Call me Alkara. Thank you, Alcara. 
The Simor Gate is beyond these palace doors. From there, you will have access to the Hall of Divination. The way is impassable. Oh, hmm. Well, it won't be for future, Sargon. <sighs> we took you in and shaped you into an immortal. Varum saw promise. You turned against us. Varum is driving a wedge between us. In a way, you did Persia a favor. What do you even mean? Famine, drought, unrest among satrapies, loss of Persian soldiers? Queen Tamiris's bloodline is unfit to rule. The people deserve better. The people deserve someone like Varum. Oh, come back to reason, dignity, and purpose, Sargon. Listen to me! Varum killed Hassan! I won't believe anything you say. How can you say that? Varum is betraying Persia! We are warriors so that one day others don't have to be. Varum is the king to end all wars. A king would not kill his subjects. Help me stop him. Varum has an ideal that is bigger than you and me! You're giving me no choice. After all these years, all those battles, no one has pushed me this far! I didn't want to push you this far. I only relied on this bow because I was weak. A true warrior needs no weapon. I never wanted this fight. Me neither. An Ahita. Sargon, your blade was sharper than mine. I should have been better prepared. Why did you... Why did you kidnap Prince Hassan? I followed Queen Tamiris's orders. I can't tell you why, but I still need to finish my mission. Your mission cost Hassan's life. No need to drive the knife even further. I was loyal to a fault. You never taught me how to deal with such defeat. But I'll find a way to make this right. No one can stand up against Varum and survive. 
Our first time for everything. You said you can make this right. What do you have in mind? I don't know yet if it will work. But that's a chance I must take. Then let me help you. I can't trust you now. I understand. This probably means farewell. Farewell, Anahita. The forest has regained its balance. Thanks to you, we are rid of this creature. She came from another world to dictate her laws to us. An opportunist. But Mount Calf is not saved. It remains a prison. She is not the perpetrator who disturbed the flow of time. There is something else. Something deeper. Not bad, kid! You managed to get here! A fight between two immortals! And no one to see it! <laughs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> I, Orod, the Storm Master, challenge Sargon, the Betrayer! Show me the true spirit of the Rashabar! Caspian Sea. Cross the Hellbridge of Shinvat for a bet. <clears throat> Crushed Hercules. No one sang about it. But you, you gave me the most glorious fight. Did you kill Hassan? What do you think? Fight the current. Learn to sail in high winds, kid. I'll miss you, brother. Sargon, listen to me! Hassan is coming with me. Step aside, Sargon. I'll deal with this. Thank you, Varum. Varum? Yes, you found some of those feathers. My visions were true after all. Whatever your visions were, I doubt you saw this coming. Step aside, Hassan. I'll deal with this. Varum the White Lion is not worthy to be an immortal, even less a king. No! No! 
Don't. I need you alive. Who do you think you are? You are nothing without me. A stray dog is not worthy of these powers. The feathers of the Samorg were never meant for you, nor any mortal. The Samorg is no more. Its powers are mine, and mine alone. You will earn the Seamorg's blessing. Then, as per tradition, I will reveal your regnal name. O oh, mighty Seamorg, protector of our people, I, Darius, have come to present to you my son. Should you deem him worthy, he shall one day become king. The reign of the House of Darius is over. Tomiris? What is this? Tomiris! No! Ah! I prefer to leave such meaningless titles to humans. I have left your world behind. The Samorg is no more. It is my sacred duty to recover its powers. For the one who wields them will be equal to a god. You have completely lost your mind, Varan. These powers are mine by right. This is far from over, Sargon. And I hate her. Why did she betray us? She never did. That doesn't matter anymore. She was tough on us. And yet, she gave her life. I know what you're thinking. What do you see at the end of your blade? I think I understand now. What just happened? Hassan, I have something to tell you and I need you to believe me. Sargon. You are the only one I trust right now. Tamiris, your mother, murdered King Darius. She usurped the throne. The Simorg never perched on her shoulder. Hassan, I'm... I'm sorry. Don't be. I never found she wore her title well. Nor was she motherly. The people suffered for thirty years without the Simorg, because of her. I am sorry about your mentor, Anahita. She told me she was following orders from... 
from Tamiris. Then, Anahita was manipulated into doing her bidding? Just as I was pressured to maintain faith. Why even have me kidnapped? There's... There's one more thing. I'm listening. Varum is the son of King Darius. Is that... Is that why he tried to kill me? For revenge? All I know is that all of this has allowed us to see Varum's true colors. Varum may be the rightful heir, but he's far too dangerous. We must stop him. You're right. We must protect the people more than anything else. I can help you with what I've learned through scriptures and legends. Varum spoke of recovering powers. That means he's after the heart of the Simorg. It's at the Simorg Gate, but to gain access, you'll need the Key of Kings in the Tower of Silence. Then I must retrieve it. Hassan, you're helping me more than you know. Godspeed, my friend. Here you are again. Sargon. My father. I see his face. I see myself standing there. My father is dead. Murdered. I'm sorry, Vara. And I know of the other one. Sargon, you told me to control my power. And I did. But the other me, he didn't learn. He lost himself. Each of us has our own path to travel. It's the choices along the journey that decide who we are. But Sargon, I have no path. I leap across time, and yet I'm still a boy. I'm a traveler who can leap, and yet I'm still stuck in the same place. Maybe not, Varum. Maybe it's a path you can't see yet. A better one. Father, 30 years have passed and I'm still lost. I seek your guidance. I wish I knew your hardships of being a righteous king. I wish I had your courage. I hope I can be half the king you were. May you hear me and see me as I ascend. Sargon. Have you come to pay your respects? I'm here for you, Varum. Kings don't have friends, and you won't give me your powers. Where does that leave us? We're always in each other's path. Then I'm sure you will find me again. My duty is done. My 
freedom won. King Darius, I know what happened to you and to Varum. What Tamiris did, it was unspeakable. Save this world. Save my son. How do I save him? Have mercy on your soul, King Darius. Sargon! The corruption of this place is consuming you. Not this place, Nate. It's the powers. They're not meant for mere mortals. Gifts that are also a curse. Leave them then. I have no choice. How else can I face Varum? It's the only way to end this just realized. For all the different paths of Sargon, this must be the single path we all share. You talk about the path. What is mine? One's path is like the sacred cypress of Abaku. A single stem, one life, has brought you to this sunrise. Along your path, the past has already been carved. It's unique. Now a thousand branches are ahead of you. And on every branch a thousand fruits. And in every fruit a thousand seeds. One of these seeds will be your path. Varum. My father gave you the key to the palace, didn't he? Then you can enter the hall of divination. Ready to face me, the older me, who has lost control. You've seen your older self. I just know he's there, and I don't want to be like him. Sargon, you're still my friend, are you? There has to be a way to save him. I'll find a way. I didn't give up on you, and I won't give up on him. too much to trust the Samorg again. I can't believe in such a cruel god anymore. The heart of the Simorg. With our powers combined as one, imagine all the good we could do for humankind. Varun, no human is meant to wield such power. No mere mortal. I am the first immortal. Saga, you must understand. The Samorg's powers showed me the future. I saw our kingdom engulfed in flames. Our people suffering for nothing. Persia vanishing. Corrupted from within. We can stop it, Sargon. We can build a world free of deceit, lies, Human weaknesses. Help me save Persia. Give me your powers. No. and space. I am creation. And I will create a new, perfect empire. Baron! Baron, no! You should have joined me instead, Sargon.
Persepolis. There is nothing left. No immortals. No one. Only the void remains. Simorg, you were the one gifting me life time and time again. Why did you choose me rather than the others? I'm not sure I understand. They are always with me. I can't defeat them. What if it's too late? I don't exist anymore. I couldn't stop Varen. Save him. You are mistaken. The world you have in mind cannot exist. I am the one and only, the creator. A new world is not up for debate. It manifests itself for all.
No. I'm here to save you from yourself. Learn to say my will is coming. True warrior needs no weapon. It's your actions that matter. Then I wish to be where we mortals are friends again. Here is Prince Hassan. The Immortals have succeeded. What's going on? History will remember you. May our paths cross again. Um, Your Majesty. Not anymore. Sargon. You brought back the Simorg, a triumph worthy of a king. I need no praise. My blades served the crown, but in Mount Karf, they were bloodied with the truth. Orod, Menelaus, 
Brajin, Anahita, Varum. All dead now. A small price to pay to secure my bloodline. Thirty years ago, King Darius was murdered. No. I'll let you confess that story. Sargon? There's something she's not telling us. King Darius! Sargon! Don't worry. I'll take good care of Varum. <laughs> 